Welcome back to the Movement Magazine. I'm your host, Dashaun Farad. We're here in Irvington, New Jersey at a Nork Anti-Violence Coalition in protest of a sister who was killed two weeks ago, a pregnant woman who was killed. The Nork Anti-Violence Coalition has been in existence for well over for 70 weeks, protesting the constant killing which is taking place in black and brown communities all over the country. As you can see, there's been as you can see, there's been a as you can see, there's been a situation here in which the police have intervened. Let's go and interview some of the members of the crowd. Okay, oh, let's go over here. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And they're gonna see that. And we are taking them. Chase, where you taking them? Where you taking them? We're taking the Irvington Priest. That's where we go. That's time. We're taking the Irvington Priest. Everybody make sure Get all this, get all this on camera. Follow me, follow me. We're going to Irvington Priest. Follow me. We're taking it. Give me a line. Y'all want to do this? Let's go. Y'all want to do this? Yes, yes, yes. So give me this line. Give me a line. Hey, brother. Give me a line. 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 This here is the North Anti-Violence Coalition. They've been doing this for 70 weeks in protest of the killings that have taken place in black and brown communities across the country. They've been consistent at it. As you can see, in some situations, the local police department has not been as cooperative as they should be. This is an example of civil disobedience which has been practiced throughout the history of the United States for over 200 years, but specifically among people of African descent. This is an example of it. Nork, New Jersey, the Nork area, even though we're in Irvington, this is still the Nork area. Nork, New Jersey has a history of civil disobedience, which is not a bad thing. As you can see, they got the police copters up. They got the police copters up here. Some people they've actually arrested, as I'm told. You have the police copters up here monitoring who's attending these rallies, and oftentimes these rallies are often photographed by law enforcement. This man speaking right here, that's Zaid Mohammed, the National Minister of Culture for the New Black Panther Party. As yes, sir. Oh, brother Martin. Yes, sir. What happened? Brother, we having a peace, a peace rally in these streets, trying to bring peace, peace to the city of Irvington, and the goddamn Irvington Police Department came and disrupted this peaceful rally. They attacked our people. They attacked the sister. They attacked the Muslim brother Lamont. They attacked brother Sharif, our, our new Black Panther Party brother. The goddamn Irvington the Police Department is the ones to blame for bringing all this disruption and disunity to the city. The goddamn mayor knew what was going on about this peace rally and he had his officers to come down here and create violence in these streets. Earlier, the North Anti-Violence Coalition has been in existence since the summer of last year. This is uh, the 70th week that they've been doing this. Uh, the Movement Magazine doesn't just cover uh, literature events, we cover current events as well as grassroots activities and the North Anti-Violence Coalition is certainly a grassroots movement. Uh, the epidemic of the ep the ep the epidemic of black and brown violence is uh, taking place across the country so great that members of the Nork Anti-Violence Coalition, as well as in different parts of the country, have said that black on black and black on brown and brown on brown violence should be considered a health situation, a health emergency. Welcome back to the Movement Magazine. I'm your host, Dashaun Farad. We're here in Irvington, New Jersey on Myrtle Avenue where they just finished having the uh, Nork Anti-Violence Coalition just finished having a protest demonstration uh, in honor as well as in protest of the uh, brutal killing of a pregnant woman by the name of Miss Selena Baines. Uh, several moments ago we were told that the Irvington Police Department, members of the Irvington Police Department vamped on the crowd if you would and arrested uh, several people unnecessarily. Uh, for those of you who are unaware, the North Anti-Violence Coalition has been in existence since last year and they have been shutting down intersections in the North area for 70 weeks straight in protest to the uh, constant killings that have been taking place between black and brown people across the United States. They have declared, they have stated that uh, the concept of black on black crime and black on brown crime be considered a national health pandemic or a national health emergency. Right now we are standing in front of a mural by uh, slain woman, Miss uh, Selena 
uh, Selena Baines, please, please excuse me. We're going to uh, speak to one of the residents who witnessed what happened. Uh, ma'am? How you know, ma'am? What's your name, ma'am? Kathleen Witcher. You said you're with the NAACP? I'm president of Irvington Branch, NAACP. What happened out here earlier tonight, ma'am? I came out from my home, which is a block away, um, because I wanted to participate in this rally, especially because it hit my corner. I've been at other rallies that were organized by Bashir Akinyele, who's a certified and licensed teacher. He's a public school teacher that's just wanted to bring attention to the fact that there's so much gun violence that's taking the lives of so many people in the Newark area, Irvington, East Orange, and so forth. I came out here and I observed there were about five or six police officers, but people were attempting to cross the line uh, right at the intersection with their cars and they were asked nicely, including I asked one young man that lives down the street to just pull back and make a U-turn today because something happened. In the meantime, a number of cars came up and about, at that time, about 20 cops came. They first arrested a brother who was wearing a suit and a top hat and I asked them why was he being arrested they said failure to disperse. And the captain who identified himself as Austin um, told me to get off the street. I said, I live right around the corner and I don't want to get off the street. This is a peaceful protest against violence, against killing. And he said, well, I'm telling you, you're going to get arrested too. So at that point, I went back home. I attempted to call Mayor Smith whose address is two blocks over. His voicemail is filled. I left a message at his office. Ma'am, uh, we do appreciate you. Uh, out of curiosity now, uh, have you ever seen the Irvington police ever behave this way before towards, say, innocent bystanders? Because, after all, you all were just having a peaceful demonstration. Yes, sir. I've been to many demonstrations. I've been to a demonstration where they shut down Broad and Market. That was Raz Baraka, who's now the council member. And no, never. I didn't see anything in Irvington like it. There haven't been that many rallies before. But in any other rallies, you shut down the intersection. The last one I was on was at Clinton Avenue and Bergen Street and shut the, rally, shut, the, shut the intersection down to let the neighborhood know that there's something that happened and we're saying violence needs to stop. So no, I've never seen anything happen in Irvington like this. We would appreciate if we saw police anytime and when we call the police, if they would respond in a timely fashion. Man, we do appreciate your time, and you are who from the Irvington NAACP? I'm the president of the Irvington branch NAACP. I'm Kathleen Witcher. I'm retired, and I live right around the corner. Thank you, ma'am. We hope that you have an excellent night. Thank, Thank you for attending. Thank you so much, Kathleen. All right. A little girl by Selena Baines got killed. She a mother of three and had a child within her along with another young brother. They got shot down. We went out there to promote, to protest that because when women get killed, that's against the code. A woman that's pregnant, a woman that got three children, that's unacceptable. And we as men in the community in the Newark Anti-Violent Coalition, we rise up against injustice wherever it is. Whether it's black people doing it, whoever's doing it, that's wrong. We won't stand for it. And that's why we were there. Now, Pastor, who was arrested tonight? I believe it was Sharice, Sharice Truvy, Lamont Muhammad, Cass, and now uh, this young lady's our daughter. On what, on what ground? We don't know nothing yet. So that's what we're trying to figure out now. Trying to get them to expedite, trying to get the man to get himself down here. So, you know, he can speak to him and cut all that out. Okay, thank you very much, Pastor. Your name is who again? My name is Cynthia Andrews. My son was murdered in Newark. I come out to support the other families who lost their child around the surrounding areas. We appreciate it, ma'am. Thank you very much. And my two daughters was my two daughters was locked up, unjustified. Tonight. Tonight. On what ground? You said unjustified. But what were they claiming? They they just um attacked them, threw them against the wall, threw the baby against the wall because they said there was rally in the streets. It was a permit to rally. Thank you very much, ma'am. Yeah. When May when Mayor Smith gets here, you know that we're gonna get. We're gonna get
I was um, the mayor of Irvington was at a dinner for that was host for um, people that lost their children, and he said that he will be out here with us. And then when we come, that's the only reason why I came because he said that he was going to be out here and marching with us, rallying with us. And um, he didn't show up. All I know, my two girls got locked up. So he's a liar. Police officers descend on a small group of people. It looks like a police state in full action. Okay, it made absolutely no sense in terms of the way that they handled the situation. I think it could have been done differently. And I'm, I'm, and the sad thing about it is if you looked at the faces of most of those police officers, they looked like the citizens. Okay, and again, I think it's a big issue. And we're inviting everybody to come to a rally on Saturday against police brutality and against just the excessive force of the police in this, in this whole county. It's not just Irvington that happens in East Orange, it happens in Newark. Okay. They, they know they have one of my men, they know they have one of the nation's men, right? They know they have three females that they're trying to figure out why they got. So they, they're embarrassed, right? Chase is flexing. He's trying to, you know, show control and authority, but he's dead wrong, all right? We are trying to get them out of here within two hours. He's telling me that they have to figure out what their charges are, depending on how serious their charges are. If they're not serious, they can be summoned and released within, the, within two hours. That's what they said. And they only said that because why? Because we came here. Because we came here. We came here and let them know that we have their backs. Pastor Ali, the uh, solid rock, steady, pardon my voice, committed clergy that's been with us for at least three quarters of these 60 some odd weeks, went in as clergy to ensure that he saw everybody and that everybody saw him to see that everybody's all right. As soon as he's out, I will let him give you a report as to what they're doing. Personally, I think we should stay, those of us yeah. who can, yes, for at least yes, those two stay. hours, yes. to see who can get out, who, everybody who the hell we can get out. Everybody all right everybody. with that? Yes, sir. Everybody all right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, while we're waiting, God damn it, we should be rallying. Right. And it's a shame. Now listen, let me let's bring some let's connect some goddamn dots. We're here today because some of our babies got shot down in cold blood right. on the goddamn street. That's right. And we're tired of that. We're here. This is an anti-violence, non-violent, direct action, peaceful <laughs> protest. And the only one where they actually made they took the initiative to get a permit to make sure that none of this nonsense wouldn't happen. Yes, sir. And it happened anyway. Yeah. This is excessive force demonstrated in full gear by Irvington police under the leadership of Chief, Chief an African American, Michael Chief Chase. Herbert Chase. Yeah. So y'all need to understand why that's wrong. Like him, brother. Now, some other things need to happen. This is no longer just as anti street violence rally. This is now a police brutality. Yes. Right. 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 Everybody that's here should be on Broad and Market Saturday at 12 right. o'clock. Yes, sir. Right. 12 o'clock, yes, sir. We raise hell on the need for the federal Earth government police to investigate not just the new police, but all the surrounding police departments in this area behind this kind of abuse. Y'all understand that? Yes, sir. Yes, where sir. we need to be? Saturday. 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 In the goddamn street. That's where in we the middle need of the to street. be. Brought we need to be right. in the goddamn street. We need to put pressure on this government to make sure it does what it's supposed to do. And we need to let these Negroes know that we're not going to let them violate our babies, especially when they're out here trying to do the right thing.